Hello students, today I am going to do the lesson that is globalization of a business part 1. That is, the lesson tells about the globalization of worldwide business. Why we need business? Presently we are depending on internet and we are depending on all the materials whatever we require. It is through the globalization of the business only. So what is the globalization? According to the WTO, the globalization has defined as a, the growing economic interdependence of the countries worldwide through the increasing volume and varieties of cross-border transactions in goods and services and the international capital flow and also through the more rapid and widespread diffusion of technology. So IMF defined that increasing border movement. The materials what we are observing at present, we are not taking only the Indian products, we are purchasing the other countries too. So till 1872-1930, it played a wonderful role of globalization. Presently, after the independence, after joining into the UNO, that is United Nations Organization, we have completely expanded our products in the world wide and through that, the cross-border movement has taken place. Next one is international flow of capital, technology, information it includes in the globalization of business. And next one is, the globalization is from the worldwide market, www. We have observed in the net time, we are getting the materials, whatever we required. So, next one is formation of the cheaper of the cost of materials. Whatever products you want to purchase, it will be cheaper because the transportation services, whatever you go and purchase in particular shop or particular area, it takes time, more and more time you have to spend, more and more varieties you have to find and later on you can purchase and through dumping the material into the particular transportation and has to get it. So it takes very long time. Presently we are having the world wide web. Through that we can identify the material, we can sell it and we can go through the materials, the rate and the duration, quality, everything you can observe and through that you can purchase. So the IMF defined all these points in its definition. It increases cross-border movement, international flow of capital, technology, information, worldwide market and cheaper at cost. These four points if you keep in mind, the point can be easily explained through the definition. It was asked as a two mark question what according to the IMF globalization meaning. So these points you have to write. So here, this lesson is not only for the sake of obtaining marks or getting the subject to be noted. No, it is for your life because we are living the life presently with this worldwide market only. Whatever we want, we are expecting through the internet only. So we have to depend on this globalization only. So it has given a wide, wide exposure for us to enjoy our life in a very comfortable manner. So let us see about the, what are the factors of this globalization of business. What are the factors? It is a worldwide phenomenon in educational, technological, political, social, cultural, all these area it covers. If you want to wear, for example, cultural if you take if you want to wear European type of dress or American style of dress, you can wear. If you want to wear um, uh, the Chinese or Japanese or uh, uh, Korean, you can. So this is giving the knowledge about the worldwide culture. It is giving knowledge about the worldwide education system, worldwide technology, what they were doing, economic conditions of worldwide countries. See China, though it affected with the corona also, it is giving importance to the economy. Economy must not come down. Likewise, it is balancing. Of course, our country also balancing in the same manner. But China given the clear picture about how they are maintaining. See, each and every material what we are purchasing presently, maximum are made out of China only. So, it has having a great control over the 
uh, trade and transactions or the materials which they were selling to all over the world. Maximum Asian countries are depending on Chinese materials. When China started in, entering to our country, our prime, prime minister had taken a wonderful step that means we have to remove the Chinese app. We are already did and presently also it's not possible within one day. It takes a little longer period to overcome with these problems. We can sustain our life with our own Indian materials which are having a great value but we are not choosing we have to go through. So it is giving importance to it. It's a worldwide phenomenon. Means it is giving economically, culturally, educationally and politically, technologically, communication, everything, every area it is giving the complete uh, cross-border links in the international trade and finance. Next point, globalization encourages the international capital. Any country person can come and establish their company in our country and our country people also establish their company in worldwide. For example, the Infosys and the uh, Wipro, it is Indian countries, companies and which are having the worldwide uh, branches too. Likewise, Dell, Suzuki, all these companies are not Indian. Google, it's not Indian. All are entering to our country, giving opportunity to many for the employment. And next one is, it also, free. it gives the free trade zone. It gives the free trade, wherever, which country you can um, transport your material, you can do. When you are signed in the WTO that is World Trade Organization you can move your material from any part of the world wherever you want to sell your product and likewise the other country also can sell their product in our country to get benefits so next one is for shipping also it is giving the support and the reduces transport expenses you need not carry your own material all the time you can hire the Containers, you can dump the materials in that, you can transport your material to any part of the world. This is possible only through the globalization. And it also gives, reduces restrictions. Any country may not question. If you are signed in the World Trade Organization, the other country also might have signed. And through that, we are giving the complete freedom to expand our companies or expand our business, expand our materials to any part of the world, expand your knowledge, whatever you want. Everything is possible through the restrictions was reduced by the globalization of business. And it also creates the subsidies. It also creates the subsidies. Through the subsidies, we are getting many benefits. You will be observing the materials by purchasing in the Flipkart. There are many subsidies, 80% or 20% reduced, 20% um, was uh, less in the price or something, uh, offers will be given and it also reduces the, creates the subsidies for many. If you establish this company in particular country, you will get the subsidy, likewise they give the support. And last one is it also creates a harmonization of intellect, property, laws across the majority of the state which have more restrictions. Harmonization of intellect, international. There is a, any country for property laws for majority of states which have more restrictions. So the countries will be having restrictions. Those countries, it will maintain the harmony. See, for example, in the Vatican City, ladies must not go. If you observe, there is no restrictions are given. So the companies cannot establish their, they will be having their own restrictions. Even in our country, certain places, we cannot establish companies. For example, the Western Guards, it is completely a treasure. We cannot establish any companies there. So based on the geographically, religiously, politically, all these aspects matters. The restrictions on the establishment of companies are establishment of the house or any of the constructions. It also take care by the worldwide business. Next is the characteristics of the worldwide business. What are the characteristics of the worldwide business? As we have observed the international flow that is the trade is very fast. 
trade and transaction will be very fast. Now you are observing materials, whatever you want, it will come very fast. You will be observing the date when you um, uh, just want to purchase through the internet. It will tell the your material will be on the ship. It will be already uh, shipped and it will come within two days. It will be monitoring, complete clear picture of your material will be given each and every time and through that you are getting your material to your doorstep you need not go for any place it is because of the worldwide web next is it is giving the flow of capital as we are observed observed in the factors only the same point will be given capital flow any company can establish any part of the world and next one is the wto and opec and WIPO, IMF. Why these all are there? It creates international agreement. It creates international agreement leading to the organization like WTO, OPEC, oil producing and expanding countries and world intellectual property organization that is the WIPO and IMF as you learned in the first point the international monetary fund all these areas if you might have agreed signed between the countries in a capital flow it is possible to establish your own company and it also gives the increases the economic practices like outsourcing of mutual cooperation Mutual cooperation, countries cooperation must be there, otherwise it is not possible to send your material from one place to another place or one person to another person, one country to another country. We are having mutual cooperation, you have observed in the political science we are having the Panchashila principles, based on that all the countries we are having the very free and comfortable cooperation, through that we are getting a benefits. And it creates the cultural exchange. We are exchanging our culture. If you are wearing the uh, sari, the Europeans also likes to wear sari. Americans also likes to wear sari. At the same time, you are also like to wear the jeans and t-shirt. That is quite common nowadays. So it is exchanging the culture between the Europeans or Indians, between the Americans or Indian, French, Japanese, Chinese, any country people, dress code you can eating habits you can and education you can and political developments that is also possible and technology you can all this is because of the exchange of mutual countries and it's to multi culturalization and better individual across the cultural diversity now you are observing multicultural that is, uh, if you go and observe the receptions of the country, we will be having the different types of food materials. Italian will be given, uh, North Indian will be given, South Indian will be given, any type of uh, food you can take. So, likewise, in our entire world, people are having the different types of uh, leading their life. Either you can lead American style or Indian style or food. But the originality depends on you. Yeah? country. It creates international travel and tourism. Who don't like to stay? Everyone wants to travel from one place to another place. If you observe the movies, maximum movies were picturized in the European countries where the land masses are, the mountains are, the comfortability of the places and that attracts a lot. Even you people want to travel from European no, tour to Europe, tour to uh, Japan or China or uh, the Bangkok or Singapore, wherever you can, you can go. And this is because of the globalization, tour and travel and uh, next one is tourism is maximum extent and creates, it also gives importance to immigration. You can stay in India or you can go and settle in America. After your education, you can pursue MS and you can settle there only. Uh, certain people are immigrating to one place to another place. Now you are observing Bangalore, it is immigrants of uh, Bangladeshis, Tibetan, Nepal, Bhutan and uh, Sri Lankan. All these people, the Pakistan, many, many country people are settled in our country. Likewise, our Indians are settled in America, 
Japan, China, uh, is, uh, Canada, Australia, all these places they were. And they are there. It is both legally and illegally it is also continuing. And spread of local food, local food like uh, pizza. Nowadays, you people are very much attracted to pizza. <laughs> Mommy will cook wonderful food, but you don't want. You want only the pizza. So it is because of the globalization, foreign country material which we are eating every day as a food. Okay, our country materials are also exported to other countries. That is, MDR, Maya's, and so many other products which you are observing in the market. That is, uh, transporting to other country, and we are getting wonderful benefits through. And globalization also creates uh, the telecommunication infrastructure. It also gives the telecommunication infrastructure and great transfer border data flow. The other country's information we are getting completely clear picture of any person. Nowadays, the hacking is quite common and many people are losing the money because of the information which they are getting comfortably and through using that they are getting more and more illegal things and all. So this data flow which is creating a very very bad effects on people but at the same time data flow gives good comfortable uh, benefits also. We are going to learn those advantages and disadvantages in the next part. And my last part of the usage of communication is quite common. Presently our country the characteristics are very very one not four satellites were launched from all over the countries from Sri Harikota. So all the one and four satellites are not Indian. It is all the countries together we have launched from Sri Harikota for the betterment of the entire world. So America launched 24 satellites to give the support to all the countries. Likewise, all the countries together, one and four satellites were launched from India to support the entire world. Why it is doing? Because we all are leading our life comfortably. India's motto is Vasudeva Kutumbo. Entire world to be in a peaceful manner. That's why it is giving support. So by this, the points, the characteristics of the points ends. So the next two points I am going to explain in the part 2 of the globalization of business. Thank you. Bye.